to a little coffee talk. Okay, coffee talk time now. All right, this is something that you're that? very passionate about and I didn't know. Physical what? menus yes. are returning in a big way at restaurants, replacing the QR code. It doesn't make it like a relaxing experience. Okay, everybody got to get the QR code. You got to look at the hunt and that. You yeah. got to get the kit. Like, you I just wanna, want I want to sit down, grab the menu. Hi, hi, what's going on? Do you sit like that at restaurants? Yeah, sometimes, you know. Okay, hello, hello, with your nice, foot up. Thank you, Stacy, or whoever, you know, you know, you talk to the servers and nice. explain them. Like, I, I just give me the, the darn menu. Okay. Hey, well, a New York Times okay. survey found Sorry. that other, <laughs> I just let you go now. I've just learned that just no, get it QR all code out for, for the weather. Oh, we're not QR done. Code is good, but a QR code for the menu. Yeah. That's good. OK, so um, some chefs are using AI to write food descriptions and tech design tools are being used for printed menus in house. So menus also now consistently offer mocktails as more Americans begin to cut back on alcohol yeah, as it, well. Hold on, I just it's not I like agree. we have to reinvent the wheel. It's just print my, the menu. Uh, my thing AI is, with the menu. Just write your menu out, print it, yeah. give it to the people. No, absolutely. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? You got to get those one do. shots when Frank's, you know, really getting into. Hold on, right? Let's do it again. Ready? Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Hit it. Ooh, that was right that was on cue. Yeah, that that was really Who's good. I don't know, but yeah. that was. That was, that was beautiful. That was good. Yeah, I agree though with the physical menus. I don't know. It's just something I like being able to hold something because then I'm having to like zoom in on my phone. Yeah, I will say though, regardless of the phone or the menu, I cannot read a menu without readers now. Oh. Like in a random restaurant, my eyes. They're bad. I don't know. We get turn 45 and the whole everything goes <laughs> Can I goes tell down. you? Like I, I, like I squint. I yeah. can't see. So we went to Soto. Yeah, and well, it's darker in there. It is. So Mark and I, my husband, we're sitting at the table. I, that's I, totally fine. And I'm like this. I have my flashlight I'm on. Totally fine. And I'm like this, looking at the menu. I felt like we were we were the only two totally doing fine. that. And I was like, what's happening? Yeah, like Hollister back in the day. Hollister. I, yeah, I remember Hollister. They always yeah, had the dim lights. My, oh, they had dim. Yeah, that was. And always mine. you walked into the store and you it always smelled. came out smelling like the store. Well, Abercrombie was like that. Yeah, that Hollister was, was age, just probably. as. Yeah. No, no, no. I had an Abercrombie, Abercrombie and too. Fitch too. Abercrombie was for like the younger kids. Abercrombie and Fitch is for the um, yeah. older teens. But see, in my day. In like the 89, 90, 91, it was like Abercrombie was like the place. The place. To go get the old yeah. place clothes. I always liked Hollister because of the vibe when you walked yeah, in there. What's up? All right. And hey. Then there was American Eagle. Oh, I loved American yeah. I still love American Eagle. Yeah, that's still around. Yeah. yeah. All right. Have you seen this? Engineers at MIT are working on a new shoe design, which they say can improve what? running performance. Oh, we'll put This is for you. Yeah. Their model uses body dimensions like height and weight and others, and offers, I should say, midsole stiffness Ooh, I hate mid and springiness to simulate how you would run in a certain shoe. Oh, yeah, they can be custom made. For your morning job, jog, or for different events like you know 10K, so and marathon. each shoe for that. that that's what I will say, I always was. I never wanted to spend money. Like I'm not a big shoes person. Yeah, I never if have you been. Run, agreed. And now that I'm training for like half marathons, they make a huge, it, difference. huge, huge, huge difference. And honestly, just to kick around, like if you can have a good pair, like just the comfort. Mm -hmm. And like too, it helps with like your. Um, Circulation, yeah. balance. Yes, with all kinds of things. Yes. It's totally worth it. Yes. My dad has these shoes now, and I forget the brand name, but he spent like a good amount of money on them, and he was like, I never knew the importance now that I'm older. <laughs> So like we, what, the my sister, my the... younger sister, who's 19, she calls them um, his old man shoes. Oh, oh really? They're like therapeutic? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And he's like, I never thought I would see the day that I would be wearing these shoes, but like I big, am. Thick new balance. Yeah. And I said, Dad, I said, you rock it. And if right it now. helps, like with just your Get posture and everything Get else. Have comfort. Yeah. Hey, so this is museum.